Hi guys and Merry Christmas. So today I'm doing a special Christmas themed video. But before we begin, don't forget to like this video, subscribe, as that would be a great Christmas present at no cost to you. Anyway, let's get started. Okay, let's reveal my drawing. So this is my drawing, I'm just going to colour it in. It's a snow globe with a girl inside holding a present and in the background there's a Christmas tree and there's fairy lights above her with a big bow around the snow globe as well. So I'm just going to colour it in. I've got a swatch card here to swatch out my colours, make sure it works with my illustration. And here's some cardboard just to protect my work surface. So I'm going to pick out my colours. Okay, so I've got the colours that I'm going to be using surrounding my illustration. And I've got my swatch card here. So let's get started then. I'm going to start with the skin as usual. Just colour it in. So when I think of Christmas, I always think of snow globes and presents. So that's where my inspiration for this piece came along. And yeah, Christmas trees are like an essential for Christmas. For the hair, I'm going in with E84. And moving on to the jumper, I'm going to be using a purple colour. It's BV00 Mauve Shadow. Just shading it in. And for the jeans, I'm using Blueberry, which is BV04. And as it's Christmas, pink won't suit the lips, so let's go in with red just to make it stand out a bit more and that looks a lot more Christmassy but we need to add some sparkle so I've got some gel pens and I'm just going to add that here's my gel pens let's start adding it and for the present of course it's going to be with the gel pen and look at the present you can see the sparkle, it just looks so good. And for the socks, I'm just going to go in with a gold. And the other sock. And I'm going to see if I've got some silver. See if it works. Oh, it does, okay. So far, I'm really happy with how it looks. Next I'm going to be colouring the bow in and I'm going to be using a Copic marker and I'm going to be using this Sharpie pen to shade it. Next to shade in with the bow I'm going to be using this Tiger marker which has a bullet nib which is fine for me. But I know some, some people prefer the brush nib on the Copic pen. And I'm just going to blend it all out. But the good thing about Tiger markers are they, they're really cheap. Much cheaper than Copics. They're like £1 a pen. They come in packs of three. Really recommend it. Just want to make the bow look a lot darker. So I'm going in with another tiger pen. I'm just blending it out. And after blending so much, this is my outcome. I'm happy with that. Um, I need to do the ribbon, so let's 
to repeat the steps. And there we go. Next, let's go on to the Christmas tree. Now, I planned out that this was going to be the colour of the Christmas tree. So, I'm going to get start colouring. So here's the Christmas tree after shading it with various Sharpie colours. There we go. And I left the tinsel blank because I'm going to be using my Crayola metallic markers for it. So let me get that out. So here they are. I've got many different colours. By many, I mean five. But I'm going to be going in with my gold marker. It's not working too well, so I'm going to go in with my silver. I think it looks better on camera, but off camera it just doesn't stand out. So I'm going to go with, with silver. And here we go, you can see that metallic look on it that I love. And I'm just going to colour in the bottom of the Christmas tree. I've picked out some gel pens just for the fairy lights on the Christmas tree. So, let me start colouring. I am loving this Christmas tree but one thing left to do on the Christmas tree is the star and I'm going to be using a gel pen in the colour silver. Next I'm going to be colouring these fairy lights in with this yellow glittery gel pen. I just need to make sure I don't touch the gel pen on the Christmas tree because that will smudge. Well, this one's going to run out soon. Oh, okay. I made it. There we go. I coloured every one very light with this just before it ran out. Thank goodness. And just the top bits. There we go. Liking this. And I'm going to colour in this bit silver. For the floor, I'm thinking to go in with brown, like this toast colour. So I'm just going to try it out. I'm going to use the chisel nib because it's quite a large area. shading with E35. As you can see I changed the Christmas tree and um, the bottom of the Christmas tree colour because I didn't want it to blend with the floor so it looks a lot darker but I'm fine with that. And lastly I'm going to be using blue for like the sky bit. It is meant to be like indoor but then it's a snow globe so it's kind of the sky. so far I'm going to be using a white pen to add highlights it's the Durant paint pen 
So here's what it looks like at the end. I tried my best with the white pen which I struggled to use because the paint wasn't coming out very well. But I tried my best and here's how it looks. I'm really happy with how me the metallic turned out and how the sparkle and the gel pens look. Have a great Christmas and I'll see you in the next video. Bye! Thank <laughs> you.